fair enough. Hello and welcome to the GBHL podcast. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie. And Harry. And Harry and Hope for Harry. Hope for Harry. Hope for Harry. <laughs> um, and we are back with Speak Friendly Question. It's been a while. It has. Yes. Um, we're in the same room, just facing a different way. Yes. Um, so, first off, apologies, it's been so long. Uh, lots of us have had, well, we've all had things on. Yeah. Um, and we're starting off with Andreas, the Norwegian Viking. He says, brings it up to six hosts, Harry. What? Don't forget Bilbo. <laughs> hashtag GBHL Harry. Hashtag GBHL Steve. Hashtag GBHL Bilbo. I, think I agree with seven. Yeah, I think seven, seven. seven. Seven dwarfs. Well, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Solid seven. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next question. So, Tim Hines. Hello again. I had asked about the best Mordor army for 500 points. I was wondering if you thought either one of these was good or which one was better. So Knight of Umbar on Felbeast, 23 Moranans, a Shaman, Krishnak and 6 Orc Trackers, Orc, tra- Orc trackers. or Shagrat with the shield, um, so that's 110. Shagrat yeah. war leader, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kardush, a Moranan Orc Captain with 30 Moranans and a banner. No, Umbar on Felbeast. I just, yeah... Uh, yeah, I think so. Even you get a bit of num- numbers with the second half, you fell beast will just fell beast kill will, them, will make up the numbers lost. Yeah, and it's, it's cool as Shagrat is for 110 points. If you're playing against a ring or a wizard or a ring wraith, he just gets shut down. He does. Whereas at least you've got a, a, a wraith to combat like magic. Yeah, and he is still, I guess, the, the ring wraith's only fight five. I don't know if Umbar can steal yeah, it. Yeah, he can, can't he? But the. Shagrat's always fight five, and there's so many times I've just put an elf into him. Exactly, just slow him down for the turn. So, oh. so frustrating, isn't it? So yeah, for, so for the first one, with the Felbies. Definitely Felbies. Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got Daniel Theory. He says, Hi guys, I think most, if not all, people have trailed off at some point. Life and hobbies rarely fall into place perfectly. My question this week is about rules. Is there one thing about the game, rules or character rules, that you would change, and is this too convoluted or confusing as it is written? The Ring... It's pretty confusing. It is, I know. The way, there's there's the, different rings as there's well. There's different rings out there now. Like the, the Frodo's one ring entry in his profile is different to the one in the rule book which everyone else references. Right. It um, goes right over my head if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's the only rule that's really convoluted and difficult to understand off the top of my head anyway. The other one is about prone models, maybe. Oh, Just yeah, I guess they, in the sense yeah. of that. Yeah. Where do they stand up? Can you move models through them? Do they have yeah. a control zone? It's just, it was never really clarified, so I think a few people play different ways. No. Maybe just a bit of clearing up on that. What's going on with my screen on the camera? Let's see what that is. What is it? Seems to have focused on somewhere in particular. Oh, it's still Hello. going. It's it's it has been recorded. Okay. Phew! <laughs> That's better. That was void. Yeah. Uh, next up, yeah. Jeremy Smith. Did we finish that? It yes, was we rules. Have. Yeah. Yes, me and Dan. Prime rules Jeremy and Smith. then the ring. That's right. Okay. Uh, hey guys, whomever you might be this week, when making a theme list, do you make up a list based upon a scene in the book, movie, or do you make up a list uh, like tea time at Bilbo's, <laughs> or what would have happened if Eowyn and Ar- Aragon got married? I am contemplating a doubles list for Nova for for my wife and me. Any ideas? P.S. Does Legolas just auto hit? Ignore Elven cloaks. It's not with a P.S. No. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, does it? No. Yeah, unless you're within six inches. Of course. In which case, yes. you know, get the, that's the only way to negate an Elven cloak. Yeah. Um, it's a good question, though, because it's. But it's, mm. I think this is different to everybody how they pick their theme. Yeah. What it looks nice. See, for me, I pick a theme from the book or the movies, and something like Tea Time and Bilbo's would be my lame excuse to try and. <laughs> make a theme, a cheesy list themed. Yeah. Oh well, Bilbo and Gandalf, young Ga- young Bilbo, and young Gandalf, just happened to meet Aragorn Strider whilst he was travelling through the Shire. <laughs> That's it. It almost makes you feel less guilty for putting yeah, yeah. a bit of stuff that would quite. It, it could have happened. Of course, it could. And, then, and the, the same like, what if Eowyn and Aragorn got married? Well, it didn't happen. So you. Yeah. So you, again, you you imagining and stuff that yeah. we're putting stuff together. Um. It's, it's interesting because I think stuff that looks good from the films and the, and the books, stuff like it, it's different. But then I think it's also nice to put stuff together that you'd like to play with. So yeah. Saruman doesn't go with hobbits, but I'd like to think it was... Saruman went to do the scaring of the Shire, got turned by the hobbits, he could <laughs> turn them and became all friendly again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't. Yeah, very loose. So it's, a very, it's a big lie, is what you're doing. Yeah but, we're, yeah, but we're not to deter anybody. You put together whatever you like if you, if you think it's fluffy or themey or... Why it's a points value game. Yes, exactly, yeah. So we're all still playing fairly. Of course we are, yeah. 
Good question. Yeah. Next up, we've got Terry Young. Says perhaps Eastern Kingdoms would work best as they are presented in the book. Allied units within a greater Mordor army. Even then. I know. I like that they're sub allies uh, in in ways. Oh, I just think they could just maybe a benefit maybe more of an expansion maybe if they could Easterlings. I guess I guess in, in an East, in a, an army that they, they could work quite nicely. I guess having a back rank. If you took say a captain or war priest or something, yeah, probably a captain because they're pretty decent. With six black dragons, shield and spear, six front rankers, shield and spear, so you could support Mordor or Moran orcs as a phalanx with five. Yes, more. yeah, I, I agree with that. That's that's a good shout. Um, because you can't really access, you can't access any def fight force supports from Mordor, can you? No, no. Um, so then, yes, it's, so maybe it is a way. Um, or on the other side, maybe do it the other way around, having your front line is Easterlings, Black Guard, Black Dragon with a shield, support and then a spread, support by Moranans, because yeah. then you've got your strength full come from behind, mm. you've got your fainting fight value 4 at the front. You don't want your fight value 4 fainting. I, uh, oh, well, they're ideally not. Ooh. Oh dear. He's just gone to sleep. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, I still just don't think Easterlings are all that, to be honest. No. Well, I, I, I kind of like much of it. These have no might. You get no. to 600 points and you've got like Camel with two and a Captain with two, yeah. maybe then a War Priest. It's just no my I, I think it's a bit bull. They need variation. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have got Matt Lacey. Okay, what would your what would your predictions for a new Middle Earth starter set be? Ooh, Ooh. it's a good question. If I had to pick, if I had to pick a Middle yeah. Earth starter set, yeah, Middle Earth, not Hobbit. I think it'd be something like Gondor and Orcs, or Ro back to Rohan and Rohan. I was just going to say, Ro only, yeah, like even Warg Attack or something. Yeah, Warg Attack would be good, actually. Some Riders of Rohan versus some yeah. Wargs with dismounts. Yes, because then you get, and you get, you get some get foot troops. And, exactly, yeah. And then you yeah. learn a few of the rules in terms of cavalry and yeah. stuff. Um, I guess, I guess you'd, you'd, you'd want something, a, a bit of everything, so you get a flavour. So you'd want a monster in there, you'd want some cavalry in there, and you'd want heroes and troops. Yes. That way you experience all elements of the game. Yes, you do. In the starter set. Ooh, that's going to so, lot to get the monster oh, in there as well. I think almost almost going back to the Mines of Moria. I was just going to think with the cave troll. The cave troll, yeah, the you, goblins, the heroes. You've got your variation wizard. of the fellowship. Yeah. Uh, I always look at the scene this though from a good perspective because I'd always choose to pick the good, but I think it's also important to think of the evil side. Yeah. Is it fun for an evil player? Is it appealing for yeah. them to come and play with? I mean, the, the fellowship are so perfectly balanced in game that you can use them as an army and do well at tournaments. Yeah. And they, Almost seem to be the thing that everything is written off. Like all the heroes are balanced against the fellowship. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. they are such a strong group of heroes. Yes. That them, or even if it's, or even sort of breaking of the fellowship. No Gandalf. Yeah, and then Amon Hen then. Amon Hen right? with some like new poses for them. Yes. And Urukai scouts. Yeah, that, I think I agree because I think Urukai, okay, everyone likes Urukai. And, and you get oh, that could be a new, a new way to get alerts a new profile. Yes, it could get mega alerts. Yes. Mega alerts, I like it. Yeah. So yeah, so you have alerts, Rokai scouts, you have breaking of the fellowship yeah. trios, the three yeah. hunters, Boromir and the two. Yeah. And that way you can play just like in Escape from Goblin Town, some small scenarios with yes, those for sure. little groups of heroes. Oh. And then you can have, you know, your big one at the end where Frodo's running off to escape, Sam's chasing him, Boromir's dead suddenly. You yeah. can have him dying against I alerts and then Aragorn rushes in. Coming in. I think that'd be good. I think it would. I think it'd work well. Cool. Come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Yeah, tough job. <laughs> done, done, done some work for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Matt Lacey also says, also, thanks for answering my previous question. Um, hashtag hope for Harry. Cool. Then it's the CTM podcast. He says, hi, guys. I've had, a, I've had good fun being in the loop the past few weeks. Some interesting topics have been covered. I've got a question about the logistics of the game. Why can some armies, such as my hood, use throwing spears, but other armies that can carry spears can't throw them? Is there something about Warriors of Minas Tirith throwing their spears that seemed wrong to the rule developers, or is it an issue of trying to balance the game? I'd like to know what you guys think. Quite frankly, I think it would spice up the game, but I can not But I can see how it could become chaotic. Pikes, of course, should still be dis disallowed from being thrown into pikes too long to throw accurately. Imagine. Oh. <laughs> Two men to throw a pike. <laughs> like caver tossing. Like yeah, it would be too. <laughs> yes. Um, I, think it, I think it's a balance issue. I agree. You see a lot of throw weapons in forces that 
typically don't have spears. So Rohan has them yeah. en masse and they've got throwing spears with the extra range because yeah. they don't have spears. Yeah. Wood elves have throwing daggers 6 inch range so you've got to be charging into combat really to use them. Yeah. Same with the Corsairs. Prowlers. Prowlers have them. Yeah. In terms of throwing spears then? It's your wargs and your... Um... Wargs and things. It, it's, it's scouty forces. Yes, and I, and I think it... Uh, it works well without the modifier, I think. Yeah, yeah but it, it does. The, the modifier, I feel, needs to go for all throwing weapons. Yeah, I know it's been talked about all over the place, and I'd like to think everyone's no noticing it. Yeah. That just for evil, just for like a war grader with throwing oh, spears, you'd never you give move, him. You move, you just hit on sixes, sixes now. now. Even to some extent, Rohan, when they move and hit on fives, you're like, well, I don't really want to pay two points for this anymore. Yeah, I agree, I know. Unless it's on mass, there's no point. It, yeah. it feels like there's no point. Yeah. Giving you six guys throwing spears. It's well, like, well, I'll just get another no. rider. I agree. The only other way I saw around it, when someone put on the speak for any question of the week, mm. was taking Thanderil and taking 12 of the Merkwood Guard. So, you know, yeah. you're getting on twos and then give yourself throwing weapons. But it's a lot of it's points. It's a lot of points. That's, that's 11 points basic per elf before they've even got a spear, yeah. which they probably want at minimum. For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, I, I don't think then that's necessarily a worthy thing for a Defence 3 model. No. Um, so I mean, I mean, that was something I contemplated taking a big army of them, and it just you run out of points so quick. I'm sure you do. I think about those ten. If you get ten, oh, what's 132 for eleven decent throwing weapon elves? With that, spears? No, that's without. Oh right. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I do. 132. Yeah. Plus you plus standard, so That's 222 for a warband of 13. At defence three, when one hurl could kill them all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, I think that's why though. I think it's just balancing um, armies against each other. Like if all your wood elves could, th if all my wood elves could throw spears, imagine on a three plus, just yeah. they have been armed with a one point spear. Yeah, yeah. It, it would just, it would start to become silly where you it see would... every army becomes a throw up an army because they've all got access. I to know, it. and then it'd become very tedious. I think. Yeah. Because you'd be one dice and everything. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and it'd yeah. become quite dull. I'd rather it be more selective. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll 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 do the next one because it's a short one as well. Okay. Uh, GBHL. No, David Murphy or Dave Egan says GBHL Harry and Steve. Ooh. Fans want it. That's it. Next up, we got Jean Koo. King Jean Koo. If anyone could clear something up for me about the new monster rules for the Hobbit SBG, how can you tell if a character can use the monster special attacks, trolls, etc? Uh, it's in the grey case, I'll put a, a book now it's in. Oh, I imagine it says monster next to the name. Yes. Oh, it's Kingdoms of Men. No, no monsters in the Kingdoms of Men. There we go. Yeah, it, it says monster next to the name. It says their type and then their monster. So it might be like sort of troll, comma, monster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we are. For example, the Mordor Troll. This is Mordor Troll. Troll monster. So if it's got the monster in the sort yeah. of type, then you you have access to the monster brutal power attacks. Yeah. So when I was looking at yesterday, it's in there actually. It's the great beast of Gorgoth. Yep. Because he because I didn't know whether that would be counts as just a mount or something, but it does specify yep. a monster. Great beast, comma monster. Yeah. So I suppose it's quite self-explanatory for them. Yep. So how can you tell if a character is a monster special attack? There you go. Have monsters behind the name in their profile, but a dragon in the Casa Dum source book, for instance, doesn't. In the Moria book. Yeah, yet yeah, I would assume mm. they can use special attacks. Is that right? So, dragon monster in Moria. You can show them that. Uh, in what? In Moria then? Maybe yeah, so have a look in Moria. That's an interesting one. Wait, it's just made a discovery mistake. It is. I think. I hope so, because otherwise double dragon gets really rubbish. Well, you'd expect that stuff, so. Dragon Monster. Oh yeah, still Dragon Monster in Moria as well. Hello. Maybe it's a misprint in your run of books. Oh, have we got a, got a third host arriving? Yes, okay, well we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll come and get you now dude. See you in a minute. We'll cut, um, we'll come back. So yeah, stand still, we'll be two minutes. No <laughs> <laughs> scooch, scooch down a little bit, scooch down a little bit. There we go. Uh. I don't have to say anything, do I? Yeah, you're, you're on. We're back! We're back! And we've got one more with us now. Hello. Any of the old veterans <laughs> of the game might know who this is. Well, well, that's, although, yeah, there's been a few changes since yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not you know, Still the same person inside. 
That's it. <laughs> that ain't a geek. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is Mr. Tom Moore. This is Harry's cousin. Hey. And you used to be very, very good at the game. Well, I used to be quite involved with the community, yeah, definitely. And then uh, things got in the way here and there. Changes happened. And then it, but no, it seemed like the community's got a lot more strength in it now, so it's good to see everyone getting involved. It's always encouraging. That's yep. it, yeah. Right, let's jump right back into these questions. Yeah, okay. So, can Sauron use brutal power attacks, Tom? <laughs> see, this like shows... This, oh, right, okay, this shows how out of the loop I am. Brutal <laughs> power means very little to me, but then is this a thing that this you really mentioned? Right, yeah. okay. This, this, is, um, this is right, okay, right. Yeah, I just, I was, I'm aware of those, but I wasn't aware they were encompassed under the brutal attack That's it, name. they are pretty brutal. Uh, but yeah, no, no, uh, I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> Veto. No, he, he, he can't. can't. He can't. What, what's the reason for that? Uh, monsters have... I'll get the hook. Oh. Anyone with the monster prefix after their name right, okay. can use brutal power attacks. That makes sense. So cave trolls, dwellers in the dark, bats can't. Felbeast can. Does that emit uh, Balrog? Doesn't that say spirit after his He's name? He's become spirit monster. Right, okay. I believe. Yeah, spirit monster. Ah, they've yeah. got that one. Mm -hmm. He's good. got something better. Yeah. <laughs> Still yeah. his limitations though. So he's asked is it about strength 8, but no. It's about the... Uh, oh yeah. Next up we've got War, and he says, Thank Frodo, it's Sunday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or Frodo, there. Uh, great show, lads. Nice to see another episode of Speak Friend and Question. This week's question, can we do a live Speak Friend and Question at Articon? I guess that's up to James, really. That'd be pretty cool. It would be good. I think it could go on for a while, maybe. Unless there's predetermined questions. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Leave it with James. Maybe, maybe answer. The questions at Articon. Mm, yes. Oh yeah, 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 there's a name. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Tom, you jump in, mate, for that. Callum Clapperton. Hey guys, do you have any unnamed morals? Uh, morals? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have any unnamed models that you've named yourself and why? I named two berserkers, Gertrude and Bertrude, following an epic battle with GBH, uh, GBH Hotel, Ari. I do remember, a long time ago. Mm. Ugh. No, uh, Mr. Whippy's been the latest. Mr. Whippy, yeah. Uh, Mr. That's Whippy? Mr. What was that? He's got, he's got a whip. Oh, right. it, was, it was actually a, a ruffian. It was, wasn't it? A ruffian got a few whip kills in a game and became Mr. Whippy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think we named it. I named one captain after a Wilbur Smith book years ago called Tannis that took to a. What would used to be. Throwing scores? What it used to be? GT. GT, yeah, uh, Grand Tournament. Um, I remember having individual models that perform well that you'd upgrade to a captain model if there wasn't a uh, specific one. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like a double yeah. base underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or did a conversion, like the Barragon conversions and things like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Some out of pure metal. Yeah, that's the right, that's the right. <laughs> the dream. Oh, my cocktail stick spears that, oh, I, that Adam Troke hated. He, like, <laughs> he watches now. Oh, wow, well, there we yeah. go. I'm sure I remember. he remember. He, he made me well aware of his, dis <laughs> of his dislike for those. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, dear. Uh, right, so... King Bonsai, are we? Yep. I recently played the winner of Nova's Thousand Point All Hero Fight and nearly beat his Historicon. Historicon. Historicon force, okay, with a Barrow Bliss at 600 points. Sad that we played tournament standard so my three model force could be broken, otherwise I would have won. The Barrow, the barrow isn't that bad, he's great in fact, if Erkenbrand isn't around. Durin Sun. What? What's Erkenbrand? Why is Erkenbrand? Uh, so, uh, er Erkenbrand's uh, horn now. Uh, really what he used to do was the Banner Wire. Yeah. For one turn, is it? Now it just gives all friendly models plus two courage. So it makes elves with the same Vegas, army, courage Vegas. seven and stuff, yeah. hobbits, yeah. courage five. Yeah. 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 Um, That's pretty insane. It is, yeah. It's a bit overpowered to be fair, because Erkenbrand's only 75 points mounted. Yeah. Um, Put Erkenbrand with Arn or Warriors. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. Well, it, that's the thing, you know, you can drop anyone with anything. Just mm. having, given knowing you can give a plus two uh, courage to any army as yeah, well. No, that was awesome. And Erkenbrand's, what, still three might? Three yeah, might. Yeah, defence seven. Mounted five, for 75 five. points. Yeah. And he gets to take Rohan Riders at five. Oh, yeah, yeah. For a two pointer model. Yeah. Makes Rohan a bit Extra point. Still, so point, is it? Still very questionable, Rohan. Yeah, but fight four gives him oh. that bit of help. You can have a lot of Rohan. Oh, sorry, right, fight other. four. Right, yeah, no, but then lacking the lance. They're always hands. I don't know. And the throwing, the, the throwing spears are toilet still, aren't they? Oh, the same. We've just, well, we, just we, discussed we, we, this, we yeah. discussed that. They, they, they've become 8 inch range now. Oh, right. Moderately better. But then there's yeah. still the issue of what, what is Moving the... Moving and shooting. Moving and shooting is a thing. Problem. Mm. So five to hit. Yeah. Which sucks a bit. Uh, okay. King Bonsai mm. carries on. Yeah, do you want to go again? Oh, well, he's still, he's still saying what he had. 
Okay, I have two filthy power glyphs for 800 and 1000 points. The 800 point Nova acceptable list is Barrow leading 10 Warg Marauders, oh, oh. one Bat Swarm, and a good and a bad Black Shield. Just so to stop the party there that that army is illegal? Cause yes, because Marauders take bows, so they still <laughs> obey the bow. Yeah, you need to do third bows there, mate. But yeah. 10 Marauders and a Barrow is a horrible combination. Mm. The Marauders are obviously a dismount and they get back up on the, on the right, thing. They get four yeah, attacks yeah. at strength four and they're knocked down. Get two bows, can shoot in combat. That's one eight, 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 eight strength yeah. four strikes and they're knocked down. Eight on the <laughs> knocked down. Oh god, and then probably fainting as well. Yeah. Okay, the thousand point list is war, first warband Barrow leading one Dweller and a Venom Back Spider. Second yeah, warband dwellers. Shade leading five Cave Trolls. Oh, oh that's grim. The only, the only risk in that second half is if you play a terror causing army, you're never charging. True. You encourage two cave trolls and you encourage one shade. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty formidable. Does Get a fair few hurls with that. Winning the fights on fives because of the so shade. Any might? Or is that no, there's no might. There you know Who needs might? No, Jay, no Jay might took um, no might angmos. How many points was that? Yeah, it's just get, you just it's get it's by. 600, 600 points. To no throw might. Schools. Uh, it's it's feel, I don't know how I feel about no might. No, you always need. I trust my dice rolls. Yeah. Uh, you, rely, yeah, you get all your modifiers in to affect your opponent's dice rolls. No, that's right. Yeah. Um, okay, Jimmy. And next up, we got Saruman the White. It says hashtag GBHL Harry. Uh, mm. I recently got my mate into SBG. He has already ordered a box of Eastling Warriors, and I thought that the Battle Companies is a good way to play the game with a small amount of models, with still while still retaining lots of fun. My question: How should I create the story for it? I'm playing Minas Tirith, if, if that helps. Along with some random tips from for battle companies, I have the PDF for that as well. Uh, it's from Lizard Boy, which I'm not going to do the shout because my dad's watching the football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Usually we scream this guy's name. Oh, uh, right, okay. Is he a regular? Yeah. Most he, of he comes are. up with questions often later, <laughs> doesn't he? Um, some yeah. very knowledgeable questions. Right, right so, a, a story from Minas Tirith and Easterlings. I guess it could be after the Battle of Pelennor. You got some Easterlings just in Gondor area, yeah. roaming around. Yeah. And the, and the, and the Minas Tirith have been. Very <laughs> good. The, the, uh, the Easterling contingent that goes to the Black Gate, there you go, they can be intercepted. Yeah. Well, that's it, yeah, I suppose they're that's the way. And then, or you can have the, the Minas Tirith that are tasked down with hunting hunting yes. down the remaining yeah, Easterlings. The, the yeah, remnants. some rogue, some rogue the rogue, Easterlings. The rogue men. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Somewhere along those lines, come back with us what you think. Works right. <laughs> Nailed it, lads. Nailed it. <laughs> this is how a speak frame question yeah, goes. We're pros, mate. Uh, next up, we got Matt Paterson. She top. All right, okay. Thank, uh, thanks, guys, for that too. I think Linda. I don't even know who Linda is. We can show you Linda. Right, Linda is a bit average. My question this week is: There has there been any talk of making new profiles and models for Lord of the Rings range? I'm aware of the re-releases, but new Lord of the Rings could be called cool too. I'd love to see some more command packs, like uh, set four factions that have them, like High Elves, Dillingdons, Numenor, etc. Uh, these boys are gonna best answer that. <laughs> I'm well out of the loop with new releases. Um, not the Lord of the Rings aren't in it yet. No, it's, it's all finishing off what's in the Hobbit movies. I think, like the Hobbit movies will be Wave One, and then we'll see what comes in Wave Two. Yeah, I think I think that's when we might see some tweaks and whatnot. But I am or sure the demand's models. there Definitely. for the Lord of the Rings, so you'd think that it will be inevitably. Yeah. And command packs, command packs is a new way of come out. So you get a command pack, you get like the Captain of Banabera, a Horn Blower. Right, and you okay. a special type of yes. captain for that. So you can get Horn Blowers for pretty much every faction now. You yeah. can, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. every Man, orc, dwarf, and elf. All get them, don't they? Can, get any, can take them for th th 30, 30 points. 30 points. Oh, courage yeah. six elves, always yeah. necessary. <laughs> well, t to take open brand instead. Courage That's right, seven. yeah, just abuse that. Yeah. Can they stack, by the way? No. No. It's a war horn. Yeah, fair enough. Open brand's special rule is that his gives plus two courage. Right, that's, that's fair enough. Um, is it just the warriors, not heroes? No, it's everybody. Everybody. Oh, what? Yeah. So you, if you've got Gandalf and Erkenbrand, he's, he's Courage 9. Yeah, he'll Courage 9. You can't fail. Nice. Anything. Yeah. Um, the thing, the command pact, after, uh, remember it used to be, what it used to be, a banner and a captain, captain straight straight up, seven quid. Was it? Take yeah. 25 quid now for four models. Um, so it's a way that Games Workshop put to make So what was the fourth? The Hornblower and... Usually it's your, 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 your racial one. captain, so for dwarves it's a shield bearer, for right, elves yeah, it's a stormcaller, yeah. for the... Um, 
Easterlings, they get their warrant. No, the priest. The priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, it. yeah that's right, that thing. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, then it's like the king's huntsman and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but for twenty-four quid, but a lot of them sold. But you told me you bought the elf one. Yeah, I bought, well, I, I bought the yeah the wood elf one three or four times over to get the um, stone callers, and then sold the rest of it off to <laughs> recoup some money. Yeah, but, um, why not? but I, so I think the money's in them to make them. So it makes sense if they come back up with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so okay, we've got Walkman Walk RP. Another great episode. Here's my question this week: Where, what do you all do for a living? Uh, I know James does fitness and Jamie works for a gaming company. But what does it? What about everybody else? Just curious. Um, okay, well I'm an occupational therapist. Uh, I work with people with dementia in hospital. Um, Steve, the builder. Steve's builder. Sorry, Just like on his YouTube channel, he's a builder. Yeah, he's a builder. Tom is the rock man. Tom, Not yeah, Tom's a, Tom. Sorry. Some sort of geology for yeah. insurance. It's really boring. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> well, you're into your rocks as well. What do you do, Tom? Well, like geology, largely. Yeah. So. Maybe it's a name. Yeah? Yeah, I've had It is Tom's do geology. Yeah, yeah. And then Damien is a university lecturer. Mm -hmm. And seminar leader. There you go. There you go. Okay, um, some gaming questions now. Aside from th aside from themed or fluffy armies, does it ever make sense to take warriors of Minas Tirith with bows over rangers? I have this complete indecision dilemma, with dilemma myself, yeah, because yeah, I like it the, used to be an often the, the common one, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, and like you drop your defence for the ranger, but you get your plus one on the shoot, mm. and really that's much better to shoot with. Well, but aren't rangers fight four as well? Yeah. They are five four. So now on the second rank of minister, if the pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it makes a bit of big and yeah. Yeah, it makes rangers almost an auto over them now. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, back in our day. Back in our day. day. Yeah, I distinctly remember taking Minister of Heaven because you had to take, um, especially during the Legion's time, you had to take a hit. Although you could just take Damrod, actually. But well, then you it. had the bow limitation from that as well. Yeah, yeah. but it's, so. it's now as long as you're in the Gondor bit, you could take 40 right. troops. Yeah, because it used to be well. Tower of Akfelion and all of that nonsense, yeah. didn't yeah. it? So it's just Gondor like, as a whole more mess now, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that makes more, a lot more sense. Okay, also, I know some people give Urukai pikes and crossbows. Could the. Could yeah. the same yeah, be done with well. War of the Ministry of giving them spears and bows <laughs> and give them to shoot a th front rank, then support where the lines meet? Thanks as always, see you at Nova. Uh, I'd always give you bowmen spears in any situation, whether yeah. it's wood elves, if whether it's. If you can afford the points, it's well worth doing. Yeah, because they're, they're multi Even if, even if well. you drop a guy to do it, you gain the benefit of eight more fighting bodies yeah, compared to that so. extra one. Yeah. So much more diverse. Yeah, because then you keep your bows behind the front rank to shoot with, to protect them, and then when it gets to combat, they just forget the bows and get the spears out again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Jim, over to you. Yep. We've got uh, Wasadi. He says, thanks for the Isengard Gundabad advice. Really love the look of both, so it could be a toss of a coin. My question this week is, do you guys have any recommendations for SBG audio podcasts? I already listened to the Green Dragon podcast, but wonder if you guys have any favourites. That's the only one I know of, unfortunately. I don't know any, mate. SBG podcasts aren't that common. No. Uh, cheers for the awesome content, guys. I was just looking for something to do while sat at my desk at work. Sorry. Rewatch previous videos, <laughs> yeah. listen to them on YouTube and <laughs> your phone, just listen instead of watch. If you've got YouTube Red, you can do that. Okay. Next up, okay. Luke, yep. Luke Kroll. Luke Kroll. Hello, what models or box sets would you like to see come back? And would you like for the boxes to go back to 24 models per box? It's an hour 12. Oh my god. 12 for 15 uh, And 10 for the Hobbit ones. Right, okay, oh, yeah, then yeah. undeniably yes. Yes, a million times mm -hmm. over. Or would you prefer a reduced price at 12? Because more bars right, so, are yeah, 12. True, now. okay, alright, yeah, reduced price at 12 probably makes more sense. Cause I, I feel that, because now at least you're selling in a war bands with, because you do yeah. build your army in war bands. Yeah. But the thing that's come out since, though, you get like some of the new fine casts, it's four models for 16. Mm, that's so if you need 12, it's 48 quid. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot of money. Tis, mm, uh, what models would you like to see come back? Um, would you like for the box? Yes, we've done that bit. So Have any of them been discontinued? Well, there are so many things discontinued. Dharma from Foot. Dharma from Foot are big ones to come back. Right. So you can't get them. Come yeah, on. okay. And Fountain Court, I assume. They are still in They're in resin now, though. Right, okay. Yeah, and they're just not quite the same, are they? No. Yeah, we had, so between the three of us, yeah, we, had we had so had many like hails and Kazards, oh, the original Kazards. Kazards. Still got tons of Kazards. Yeah. I still had the original Moranans. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but when, so before the Moranans came out as plastic, we're talking a while ago now, Tom bought all the old school, old school, old school Mordor orcs and converted them so they had 
like shields. Well, I had and front rank metal Moranans, and then oh, yeah, the, the, the back metal, rank metal was um, regular mortal rock with shield and spear, converted from the sword and spear one. <laughs> so but that did make for a for a sweaty front line at GTs. Yeah, it did. It was horrible. <laughs> so that was a uh, but no, but then, well, yeah, exactly. There was that limitation, but there's always a counter, I guess. Yeah. So. Um, okay. What have we got? David Whittaker. What's up guys? It was great to meet you. M meet not yet GBHL Harry at the Battle of Unnumbered Tears. Great to meet you as well David. It was it was a great weekend and the rules pack made for some amazing games. Two Saurons and a Barog were present which made me very happy. Which models would you love to see more at, at tournaments? Hashtag GBHL Harry. Did you see my picture that I brought from that tournament? Yeah, the, the Hobbit, Hobbit killed Sauron. The Hobbit that killed Sauron. <laughs> to be fair, he had a lot of help from two wizards. But the <laughs> Hobbit did get the finishing blow. Um, models I'd like to see more of at tournaments. Quite here. No, I was going to say eagles. I never saw. I never saw any in my day. I don't you know see them on because of the hill. Yeah, a, a for bit. sure. And you can get them from different places because you can get them from the Hobbit range as well. Yeah. Did I see? I think see that that I event then there was a easily an eagle up between every four players. Yeah. There was a lot, a lot of that. No, of those guys. King Aragorn. Yeah. Big heroes yeah. like that, Boromir, Captain the White, yeah. Captain White, yeah, these heroes that are amazing, but you don't see because a seventy-point ring wraith shuts them down. For the yeah, game. yeah, yeah for I sure. agree. It's yeah, yeah. I think it's spot yeah, on. You never see things, yeah, yeah, definitely, and never see a Lendals, no. Yeah, but Theodons. No. Theodons a bit lame anyway. Uh, <laughs> but if you want like a full, if you want your pure Rohan, True. Theodon does look cool. Just yeah, just yeah no, it just needs a little will. Yeah, it needs a little <laughs> will. Well, that's, isn't Gogolad one will as well? Uh, is he for three, 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 one. But then again, you don't see him because of that, like yeah, sap will transfix. Yeah, yeah boom. Yeah. Everyone, you take the ones that everyone's got the three, three, threes. You don't yeah. see any yeah. one. Or your elven cloak heroes. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's because of scenarios as well, because general points are so crucial. You don't, mm. you want a hero who's got max fate really, yeah. and max wounds. I don't know. I just I like to see everything in in proportion. A lot of things are range, not just you don't not just the same stuff going to most tournaments. Mm. Goblin King, Ro uh, Goblin King, and Goblins oh, and Rivendell Knights. The things that are really popping up everywhere at the moment. And uh, King Bonsai next up yeah. says, if Legolas can hit with auto shoot regardless of in the ways, can he shoot through his own models? Yes, he can. Nice and easy. Yeah. What oh, a film question for us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Dr. Pepper machine. Highlander or Escape from New York? I'd say Highlander because I've not seen Escape from New York. <laughs> I've seen one Highlander, I don't know if it's that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the same as Jamie's. Yeah. Never. Sorry for that. <laughs> Educators, what are they like? Are they good? I've, I've, I've heard only good things about Escape from New York, although it's dated now a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine it's similar to the Warriors <laughs> in the story. That sounds good. Sorry. No, that's no sorry. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Callum D. Yeah, Callum D. Not sure if I'm, I'm too late to you. You're definitely fine, mate. But I'll comment anyway. Great stuff as always. Have the GBHL ever considered doing live streams? For example, live unboxings when the new stuff comes out. Live question days or live battle reports. I myself would definitely tune in. Big love, guys. See you next time. Jamie? Now, uh, live streaming is a tough thing to do because it requires a good bandwidth on your internet to be able to send it out to everybody live. And we record at odd times in general, or at least we used to. We used to record at sort of 2 o'clock Thursday midday. Yeah. Which isn't exactly peak viewing time of course, for the majority yeah. of people. So for, for ease from ourselves, it's easy just to record it, put it up and release it as it happens. Yeah. Maybe, and um, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm asking as a, as a fan here, yeah, yeah. what's the possibility? If, say, if you did something well planned in, event, in advance, oh, yeah. say like a three month thing saying, so say when the new stuff comes out and when it's yeah. released at like Articon, could you do, but even then, I don't, there's not really much point doing a live unboxing when you get you probably get just as many views people watching it as you release it, anyway. release it yeah. I mean the thing is you, you do a live unboxing so people there can get hyped about it and then you still get that video to release afterwards as well yeah. I, I guess doing that kind of stuff you get, you get a bit of community interaction because people can comment in the, yeah. know, mm. the chat stream and whatnot. so Mm. Nice idea. We, can, we can look into we can look into it. Yes. I don't think it's something that will happen very quickly. Though. I think it's something that Tom Harrison should look into. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> to start the Luddite. That is. He <laughs> wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> okay, you get it. Yeah. And next up, we got Doctor Dan. He says hi guys. Hope this is in time. Another army list question. Sorry, Jamie. Damn it. And an amendment to a previous list. And I want your thoughts on. So the list is Warband One White Council. Galadriel, the Lady of Light, which is different to the war aspect one. Right, okay. She is 
Super good. Oh, right. the one, how how the many one. points is this one? 125. So it's, that's the same as the Warriors yeah. one, right? Yeah. yeah, same stat line except it's defence. No, still defence three. Yeah. Has three attacks as normal. Yeah. Um, has still still got terrible. Yeah. Has blinding light for free. Wow. And she's got two unextinguishable. Two, unextinguishable. Yeah. It's just just a natural yeah, build. Kind of Final yeah. Yeah. Um, and then has two new new spells to the game. One is banish, cast on a three plus. Uh, an enemy spirit model instantly takes a wound. Oh wow. Range it's twelve. Shade spirit as well. Shade right? spirit. Yeah. Very good. If you spend the might to channel it, it becomes D three wounds. Very yeah. good. Very good. But she gets a free one every turn, so you just three, three plus, take a wound, take a wound, take a wound. Wow, okay. Against Ring wow. Rage, she's, she's, she's really very good. good. And then her second Karen spell... Douglas, the ultimate Ring Rage yeah. take. <laughs> oh, yeah. Her second ability, just to boost anybody, is uh, Fortify Spirit. That's a, I think it's a two plus to cast on someone else, and it stays in effect until she runs out of will. Right. The model that it was cast on gets two free dice to resist any spell. If she channels it, she gets plus that, that that model gets plus one to that roll. Wow, she's absolutely really vital for like ants and eagles and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Or you'd get her and Saruman next to each other and they do that yeah. and she casts for it on sure. Saruman. Yeah, for sure. This, yeah. this, yeah. this, this, this new Saruman, Saruman the Wise. Yeah. The White Castle have an army ability where if they're within six inches they get a natural plus one to resist spells. Okay. So with that channeled she gets they get plus two. Okay. And two free dice. It's <laughs> just horrendous. Saruman the Wise can't be mounted, so he's on foot, 170 points. He's got not got terrifying aura. But he's got aura of command. Yeah, so terrifying aura is not really it's not all necessary, that. but I guess. However, his big thing is that he can re-roll one dice when casting or resisting a spell. Okay. So one dice uh, sorcerer's blast on a four plus. Yeah. You can re-roll. You can re-roll. Yeah. Or Wait, is that at any time? What, or once per game? A, a, any, what, any time during. Any time he casts or resists a spell. That's absurd. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, Saruman, he, he, yeah, Saruman the Wise and Gladiator Lady of Light. Yeah. They just, they, they, yeah. she, she buffs him, or buffs herself, then buffs him. They both get two dice for free whenever they resist a spell that's got plus two on it. Oh. <laughs> they get such good board control like that. Yeah. So, put it in perspective, Jay Clare, who won the league last yeah. year, uh, you remember him from years ago. Yeah, for he, sure. he won with Lake Town, which are loads of four point models. So, you yeah. get Mass Horde and yeah. then those two. And then those two, yeah. Those those two two and I, it doesn't surprise yeah. me in the slightest. Yeah. It's you, just good combination, can't, isn't you just can't get through the magic on them. I might have to change my army. <laughs> <laughs> well, then also yeah. in that list, of, if you, she's, uh, they've, Dr. Dan's got Arwen with Elven Cloak. So yeah. Arwen, same as Arwen. Throw her in for good weather, yeah, yeah. for good measure. Good uh, Warband 2 is Imrahil with 5 Warriors of the Dead and 5 Pikemen of Dalamroth. Okay. Can we assume that Imrahil's mounted? Don't think so. I would assume. You'd hope so. You'd always if, mount if not, there's the amendment. Always mount, <laughs> shield, lance, everything. And a captain of Dalamroth with five warriors of the dead, five pikemen of Dalamroth. Right, so a nice bit of synergy. Yes, yeah, the, shields. their shields count now. Right, okay. And you can awesome. give them spears if you wanted. Now, something that I um, can see there is a nice bit of synergy is Gladriel's minus one terrible. Yeah, with the, uh, with the army of the, the dead. Army of the dead, striking yeah, okay. against courage. Yeah, it's like a ring wraith and black nuns, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good combo. Yeah. yeah. You've got good might. How many points is this then, do we think? A thousand points, I reckon. 800, exactly. 800, exactly. Sorry. No worries. I think it's, it's a good uh, list. I think the other thing is, I, uh, at 800 uh, points, you're going to struggle on numbers. Mm, Any objective yeah. scenario, you're going to be struggling to reach. For sure. I mean, what is that? It's 10, 10 20, 20, and then yeah, yeah. heroes. Yeah, you 20, 25 models to 800 yeah. points. Yeah. yeah. You're relying on the heroes to do a lot I mean, of your work. It is oh, yeah, yeah, a, game, a game of dice at the end of the day in many ways, isn't it? And, yeah. um, yeah, the more you're going to have, the better you can perform. And that, yeah, I don't know, I'd feel very uncomfortable with that. But then I'm I mean, not as familiar with the heroes as, as I once was. Gladriel and Saruman are a strong duo drop in any list. I mean, they take up, a, what, nearly 300 of your points? For sure. So if you can get a, a, stro a solid 500 point horde list with those two dropped in, you're looking very strong. Are the, oh, are the captains yeah. of the Lamar still, still fight, fight four? four. Yeah. What a limitation. Yeah. Why hasn't that been remedied? Uh, I think it will be. And the, um, yeah, but the Imra Hill rule. Is still applies. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't apply to the Warriors of the Dead. Right. Yeah. Sure. But it's all, uh, it's all encompassed all of the armor. Yeah. So there is there are there are only three dice to win the fight at five yeah. four. Yeah. Which yeah, isn't good. terrible. And then obviously you've got some yeah. nails heroes. Yeah. And that seems like a very competent list. Yeah. For sure. I think it's just the again the only thing is numbers will be your no, central that. downfall there. Yeah. Computers just turn off. Right. Next up, yeah. we've got Dom VR. 
Which is hi. A couple of questions this week. Will we see any more yeah, Kings of yeah, War bat reps yeah, with Lord of the Rings models and army lists? Yeah, but, um, and what are your opinions on the outcome of the EU referendum? Let's not let's not make this channel about politics. This is about Lord of the Rings. Hashtag remain. Yeah, oh, undoubtedly God. remain. Why has it happened? It's an absolute travesty. And well, it's well, such an embarrassing time well, to be English. Or yeah. well, British. Well, British, definitely, yeah. British. Definitely English, though, since we definitely, all Definitely, yeah. Have. It's, uh, <sighs> but it's like that we could, yeah. this will go on that, for hours. This could extend the show by about an hour, yeah. I think. Um, right, and Kings of War yeah, Rips, I do not know. We rely on you guys as a community to do that with us, because we don't know the rules for Kings of War. And finally, Warpman RP says, another question, do you know the terrain tutor, Mel Bowes? I believe he lives in the UK and makes beautiful scenery. It would be great to see him involved with The Hobbit. I do, and I have watched his uh, Sunday Q&A that he does, and commented a few times, and he's aware of us as well. Um, I don't think we've never sort of linked up, though, so maybe we can do. And what's the option? Yeah. And yeah, um, that ends down. Speak for Any Question. I no. assume you don't know the sign off. I do not. No, okay, <laughs> I apologize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I'll, 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 I'll manage to do it. Let's, oh, we've, right. he's arrived. We're yeah, doing the sign off. Where are we? I'm finished. <laughs> Should we just let him guess it? <laughs> so what would you say, Tom? There's a, there's a parting message to your fans out there. What's this? There's a parting message. Yeah. Uh, keep, keep involved with the community, make sure it stays strong, and you know, keep gaming. So it is. As ever, guys, thank you for listening and watching. Be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Support the Hobbit host in the links below. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming, everyone. How did I not know that? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic.